well, here it is. Here's the new project. Uh, I'm going to convert this thing to screw drive. Uh, this is an old Polaris Explorer 300 uh, ATV that has some engine problems and among other things. So I'm going to use this chassis as the basis for my new screw machine, which I hope will be amphibious. I hope will be lightweight and a little bit faster than my last one. Probably looking for, if I'm lucky, something in golf cart speed range. Uh, would be crazy, I think. But uh, anything faster than walking would be great. And um, I'm going to use mainly just the chassis, some of the suspension components, and some of the plastics just to you know have the seat. Uh, obviously, there's not going to be handlebars. There's going to be sticks because it's going to be hydraulic and I'll hose the hydraulic motor and everything inside the chassis, but um, it should be interesting. It's going to be a big project. I'm really not going to cut any corners on this one, so it's probably going to take a while, but I'll uh, pick away at it anyways. Uh, I guess the first thing I'm going to have to do is strip this chassis down and take a look at what I got underneath to work with. This gives you an idea of uh, what it's going to look like here. Uh, I've got the bulk of the ATV stripped down now as far as engine, transmission, all that is out. I still have the original stock suspension in place and I just wanted to kind of see exactly how everything worked out here. I'm still not really going to be using much of this. I may use some of the shocks and stuff like that, but it's going to be a full custom build as far as uh, any of the suspension arms are concerned. But, uh, I think actually this view is one of the best ones just to give you an idea of, uh, of the shape of it and um, what it might look like someday when it's driving. Um, all in all, I'm really impressed with the frame. Uh, it is really light and I know lots of people are probably going to say, well, it's way too light, it's just going to bend because my last one broke so much. But um, I think with the hydraulics, it's not going to have the same pulling effect of those chains. Uh, the pods themselves are still going to want to pull and push on each other and push forward and backwards, but I think the actual chassis of it is going to be more sitting on top of those horses as opposed to being part of them because the chains aren't pulling on it. So um, the next step here is I'm going to strip it down a little bit more, get rid of everything that I don't need, and I'm going to get it up on some wheels here just so I can work on it, some dollies again. And then I'm going to start uh, building the front and rear suspension members. Uh, I don't actually even have the money right now to do the hydraulic stuff, so it's going to be suspension first. And I'm going to kind of leave the back open as much as possible for fitting the hydraulics. But the uh, uh, main theory in my design here is going to be having two solid members in the front and the back, keeping the screws spaced evenly apart so that they can't flex in and out. And then uh, as we go along, we'll see what I want to do with suspension and everything like that, but I, thought you, I just want to give you guys an idea of that direction I'm going. Maybe you can do some brainstorming as well, as well and uh, definitely comment on what you think. I know, uh, well, the obvious thing is I'm crazy, so you don't have to comment that, but <laughs> anyways, I think this uh, should be a really neat project, and if I can get it to float, that'd be awesome. I have some other uh, calculations I've done on these screws as far as flotation, and uh, I'll get back to you on that one because uh, you'll really think I'm crazy uh, if I told you that right now. Anyways, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you're enjoying it so far anyways. It seems like it's going to be a fun one.